Hi folks, this is Vincent Vinny Jr. with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Space Junk. Now, it's important to stress real quick that this is our first time playing the game. Um, I have no idea if we're going to be playing it right. I sort of have a handle on the rules, sort of, but the manual is a little confusing uh, in some places. For example, uh, there is this plaque toke in here. There's no mention of it in the components section of the manual, so I'm... Based on everything that I've seen, I think this is a first player marker, so that's what we're going to be using it as. Um, there's a gnome on the die uh, in place of a six. I'm guessing it just means it's a six. I don't know why it's represented by a gnome. Uh, I, I looked through the manual to see if there was like a, a special gnome ability or something, but I couldn't find anything. So I'm assuming that it's there for aesthetic purposes. And, you know, re really, if you're going to do that, put something in the manual, bolded, something that says, hey, this gnome doesn't really mean anything, we just thought we'd be creative. You know, something, you know, just help an old person out. So there's that, um, and some of the rules didn't really make sense at first. Like, I had to reread this twice, or three times even, to try and put everything together, despite how simple this is. Basically, and the way I understand it, um, this is our, these are our ships here. I'm yellow, Vinny's blue. Uh, we also have these score markers up here. These are our ships, and these are our score markers. There's a score track here. Now, there's no round marker. Okay, so I've used a green cube uh, and put it on the one space to show that we're on the first round. And we'll be moving that up to six um, as we play. But uh, basically we use one of these uh, score trackers here, go up the track, and then when we get to 100, I'm assuming we use the second one and start again. Uh, just, just, just to sort of keep track if we happen to get to 100. So that's what I'm thinking. That's why we have two instead of one. Um, we each have a die of our color. We also have a player board of our colors. There's like more characters, but we each drew a random one from this uh, deck of character cards here. I got Manuel Guerrero. Uh, he has a move of seven, attack one, and a search of two. And his special ability is can move one extra space in any direction after he finishes his normal movement before ramming. This move may be used to change rings. Now, what do I mean by move, attack, and search, and changing rings and all that? Well, your player board here, basically what you're doing is you're going to be collecting junk cards over here and adding them to your board, and those will change your stats. Like, I'm starting off with seven move, because I have seven move here, one attack, and two search. But as I add more junk cards to my spaces, Fuselage affects all three stats, move only affects the move stat. So if I have a card here that has like one move and three attack, the three attack is not added to this attack because it's under the move column. I can put a, these cards anywhere I want, um, and I can even replace them out, that kind of thing. Uh, but uh, you want to be careful. You don't want to put, like, something with a high attack in the move if the move is really low. You know, unless there's a good reason for it. I don't know. There's a lot of these junk cards, and I don't know what they do. So I guess we'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, you got who now? Axel who? Axel Grease. Axel Grease. So uh, you have a 3-2-2 two, two yes. stat, and you... and. And your special abilities, you get to search the junk deck before the game starts and get the general junk card, which yes. is what, a dog? Yes. Okay, so Let's basic... See. Yeah, now there's a fame, one, uh, fame number on there. And what we've decided to do, to keep things simple, because we can lose cards as we play. So uh, we're going to hold off on adding fame during the game. We'll, we'll say that to the end. We also earn points for completing a revolution around the Earth uh, every time we cross this start line, it's five points. Every time we attack someone, every hit we score is three points. Um, and these numbers here, three, six, and nine, we, we, or three, six, and nine, we originally thought that that was the score for crossing the start. But actually, it's how many cards you can search for. Even if your stat value is, say, ten, if you're in this ring here, you can only search for three cards. Um, but I only have a search of two so more than likely, I'm going to be staying in this, this center. And I have a search of three, so... Yeah. Right. Now, the reason why there's three different rings and different colors, like, this is the easiest way to cross. I mean, there's one space, one space, one space, one space. So you're going to be completing a lot of orbits here around the Earth um, if you stay in blue, and you'll be scoring five points each time you do it. But you only get three search cards every time that happens. If you're in the yellow ring, though, it's going to take you longer to get around, but you'll be able to get more junk 
uh, when you search. Same thing with the red ring. It's going to take you even longer to get around, but you get to search nine uh, cards, assuming that you have a stat value that high. Uh, but if your stat's at like six, for example, though, you may want to stay in yellow. But if you have seven and you really want that seventh search card, you might want to stay in the red ring. And it all depends. So um, we'll try this out, see if we get it right. Um, Again, we're not going to be playing perfectly here. This is just for fun and to see if we like the game. So, um, you have the first player marker, and right. we'll keep that off the table so people can see it. Um, and your, your stats are adjusted based on the cards that you have. Um, mine are adjusted like 7, 1, 2, 7, 1, 2. You've added your general yeah. stats I in. Four, eight, 4 movement, 8 attack, and 3 search. Yeah, so she, he's in a good way right now. So, he's going to go first, so you go ahead and move. Okay, I'll move 4. One, two, is it just one, two, three, four? Yeah, you're going to stay in the blue ring? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's the easiest to go to. Well, for, on the beginning of your turn, what you do is you decide what ring you're going to be going on. Blue. All right, so I think what we do then is I think... Do we start there? We start there then. So one, two, three, four. I don't know. Again, the manual doesn't really state that. And all it states is during game setup, you... During game setup, you... Put your ship cubes on the starting line, on the starting line, which is this. The starting line is not a space on the board. It's, it's, it's a line. These are the spaces. So during the movement phase, it says um, uh, they must first determine which ring they will be moving their ship in this turn and move it to the appropriate spot in that ring. So based on that you'd move it to that spot. Uh, you can change rings, so like let's say that he was here and wanted to change rings. He'd have to move it to the appropriate ring of that quadrant. So I'm, I think it'd be like... It'd be either it? here it'd, or here. It'd be this one in this quadrant. Or these ones. I think, yeah, or yeah, so he could he could move it out here or something like that. But he starts here and then you did one, two, three, four, right? So I get, the, I get three then. So you get you, no, you get to five fame okay, for crossing right. the start line. Okay, and uh, now I get to move. Uh, I get eight. So what I'm going to do is, uh, hold on. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start here, but I'm, I'm actually might change lanes at the end so I don't ram you. I don't know if I want to ram. Ramming is, um, I'm trying to think how this works. Again, I'm new to the game. If a player ends their movement in the same space as another player, they may attempt to ram the other player. They may attempt to. Both the current player and the target of the ram roll a die, each adding one to the result for initiate. Okay, the current. So I add one if I were to do it. Both players then add one for each card they have with an R on it. Do you have an R on yours at all? No. No? Okay. So I could try and ram you. Uh, they may take one piece of junk from the player that rolled lower and equip it on their ship in the same areas it was taken from. Hmm. Does that include the fuselage space? I wonder if I could take your general. So I might do that. I might do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then my special ability says can move one extra space in any direction. Um, and then I could change rings if I want to, but I only have a search of two, so it that makes no sense to go to yellow. So I will come here, but I'll be nice and not ram you. Um, and I hope you remember that for next time. I will. Um, yeah, I know. I'm just again. This is just for fun. But I crossed this twice, so I get ten points. So go ahead and move my blue one up the. T no, you moved. <laughs> you're you're blue. There you go. All right. So, I'm getting yeah. messed up now. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting mixed up on your colors. Okay, so uh, now we move on to the attack phase, and here is where we roll dice against there's one another. There's no point because there's no. We there's can't steal well. Cards. <laughs> Yeah, I can't steal any cards from you. The way it works is uh, you take your attack value, you roll one attack, just to, just to show, go ahead and roll one. Okay, so two. What's your attack value? Ten. So he rolled a 12. Ten from his card. Well, my attack value is eight, plus two is ten. Oh, okay, so his attack value is eight, plus two is ten. So, and then you divide that number by five, and that's how many hits you get. So, two. in theory, well, you can still attack me for fame. I know I will. So why don't you do that? So he got two hits on me. Now he would roll two dice to see what cards he would disc I would have to discard at the end of this round. <laughs> One and three. So if I had a card here and here, then I'd, lo I'd have to discard them after the search phase was over. I, I can still use them, but they become damaged for this round, and I have to discard them. Um, but you did uh, manage to get two hits on me. So uh, you score three fame per hit. So that moves you up by 6. So you'd be up to 11 now. 
So you scored some points there. Now I'm going to attack you. I have an attack of one, and I'm going <laughs> to hopefully you don't. Five. So one plus five is six. No die by five equals one. One. So I did one hit against you. Don't. I'm not going to bother rolling a die. Oh, I, I, I can. So six. I got a gnome. So if you had a card here, you'd have to. Uh, again, that would be discarded okay. during the search phase. But I still get three points for hitting you once. So move me up to thirteen. All right, now we do our search. Uh, so we I'll can search, search up to three cards each because we're in the I blue ring. Three. All right, and I get two. Ooh, I got, guess what I got? Oh, that signal? Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right, well, now we can place these. The yellow ring, uh, oh, the world better. between the worlds. Okay, now I have to choose where I want to put these. Um, well, guess what I got? I think, well, I'm going to go ahead and put that here. Because it has, it only has a move value. It has fame though, uh, and then but I'm, again, we're not going to track the fame yet. Sure. We're going to wait till the end of the game because more than likely I'm going to lose this card at some point if he attacks me again and he rolls a one. So, I mean, I may want to move this to my cargo and keep it there. I got a Buick. But the extra well, see, do I really need two extra movement? I can. I think I'll move this to my cargo face down and protect it. The giant magnet. Um, I think I will move that to my fuselage for right now and that'll give me one on each stat well one here one on move that moves me up to eight two on attack moves you up to three and then two on search moves me up to four okay so you want to do on six oh bless you okay. okay so um so that was our search phase and that completes the first you round see mine. and now the cert or the first player marker comes over to me and I you got got the did back. you adjust your stats yeah okay so we got 12 attack Four movement still, and three, six, I'm searching. Holy cow. Okay, so... <laughs> so I can attack you 12 times. <laughs> you can what? damage. <laughs> wow. Well, you plus the die roll, whatever that is. <laughs> so... My max I can do is 18. I may want to, to change lanes. I'm not <laughs> sure yet. All right, well... I have to change lanes. Well, if, well, I don't have any cards here, so good luck attacking. You'll still get points for attacking me if you're successful, which you like probably three. will. But if I attack you back, I can take out some of those cards that have all three of fame on it. So um, that could actually, you could actually lose those. Now, if you want to protect... protect the bad signal. I'll, I'll protect. That has four fame. All right, well, I move first, so we're on the round two, so I'm going to go ahead and move the green well, ship on the round. Are you moving? Huh? One lane or even I'm going to stick in blue for right now because i that's where I'm good at. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, I move. I get uh, eight movement plus one for my special ability. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one, nine. So I get... You get ten. I get ten points for crossing it twice. So I'm up to 23. I was on 13. I'm at 23. Now you get to move. Now you have a movement of what now? I get four still. Four. So I'll switch here. You're gonna switch to the yellow lane. To here. Uh, well, no, that would you come back here. I'll go one, two, three, four. Okay, so you're moving there, and um, I don't get the search yet. No, because now we're moving on to. I don't think anything special happened. No, you didn't cross we the can, start line. So um, you start. No, well, we're getting there. We're gonna move on to the attack phase now. Now uh, I attack first. Yes. So. Not the minus by one. Well, it. No, it's one, two. Oh, one, or two. one, two, it doesn't matter. So there's a penalty of two here. Uh, all right, one. so my attack was three. Plus one is four. Minus, minus two, two is, is two. two. So <laughs> divided by five. Two divided by five is not going to work. You get to attack me now. Yeah, with 12 plus. 12 plus something. One, 13. So you get two hits. Yes. I don't lose any cards because there's nothing there. But you do get three victory points Six. for each. So, so what, what do you... Yeah, 11 plus 6 is 17. All right, so you're up there. All right, now we get to search the deck. Yeah, I get six cards. <laughs> What's your search at? Six. Six. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and get six. That's good. All right, I get two again. One, two, no, actually, no, my search is four, so I get three. All right, so let's see what I got. All right, I got... Boy. Ooh, I got a ninja suit. So what does that mean? Can I replace something? The asterisk. Hold on a minute. I'm replacing them with a ninja suit. If you replace it, you just, I guess you can move the cards around. Junk cards that have the asterisk and one or more of the three values can be damaged to give a one-time boost to a value marked with a... Okay. So what, what's the boost then? 
Okay, so in movement it can be damaged to increase your movement by three for a turn. Attack is four. So I can damage it purposely to get, make it more powerful, but then I guess I have to discard. I'm not going to worry about that. I like to stick with... Okay, so... Oh, wow. Alright, well I guess we'll do this. Put that there. Can I discard some of these? Uh, you what put them in your cargo. What is this number? What does it say? It has a little, like, star next to it. Yeah, that means you can damage it purposely to make it more powerful for that turn only, and then you have to discard it at the end of the phase. Um, that's also... Yeah, these have good movement. Put the gas can there. Okay, so now my attack value is skyrocketed. So I've got four attack now on top of the three... Well, actually, um, I just got six. I forgot about the giant magnet. I forgot to adjust my stuff here. So wait, movement... No. One attack... Two attack. Okay, I'm good there. So then I'm up to five and then seven. Okay, so I've got seven attack now. X-ray goggles, uh, I have four search. I have 14 attack now. Two plus two and then search is two, so now I'm up to six. Okay. So did you adjust all of your stats? Yeah, I got, I just gained six attack for my eight, so I got 14. How do you have 14 <laughs> attack? I don't know, just doing a brick. <laughs> a brick. So wait, you've got, <laughs> you've got two attack plus six on those Four. two characters. So you, you start with eight, then you got 11, 14. I see. So, yeah. so the cards on your board should always reflect what you have. Yeah. Stat wise. Okay, so that was round two, wasn't it? Okay, so we're on round three. So I can attack you with 14 attack. That's almost like three hits per... <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well, you've got a lot of fame over there, too. So, all right, go ahead and um, you go ahead and do the movement phase now. So, yeah! So, I get what ring are you going to... All right. I'm saying there. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you start, you cross... Is six movement. Okay, so you cross the start line, so you get five points. No, you go in the wrong way. Seventeen uh, plus five is twenty-two. <laughs> All right, and then um, I'm upside down, so it's gonna... yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and then you get, to, and then I get to move. I'm gonna do. Uh, I have a move of uh, nine. Eight plus one is nine. So one, two, ten. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. So I get ten points. So I'm going to thirty-three. You can move one more. I did already. Oh. That's, I have a movement of eight. Mm. Uh, but my special ability allows me to move one in any direction I want. Um, so now I moved nine. Phase. Now the attack phase. Uh, you get to go first. One, two. At the penalty of two. So go ahead and roll uh, one attack. <laughs> I have 14. 14 plus, plus four is 18. Yes. So that's three hits on me. So yeah. roll three dice. And, well, first I'll move your marker. Uh... That's 9. 22 plus 9 is 31, so that will be here. And I lose the 1, 1, and the 5. Okay, so I lose the x-ray goggles. Aw, oh, poor x-ray goggles. Alright, so old junk. Alright, so now I have to adjust my value downward here. Uh, so my search... No, you have to keep it into the Oh, that's right, you're right, you're right. I forgot about that. I need to... I'll turn it sideways just to remind myself. Um, it's being destroyed. Now it's your turn. You got right. two pound each. So uh, you only have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What did you get? 18? Yeah. Okay, minus 2 is 16. So that would have been... Yeah, that's 3 hits. Okay. Um, so I get to attack you now. Um, you have, what, how much do you have? I have 7 now. I have a minus eight. 2. <laughs> minus 2 is 6. 6. I, I get five. 1 hit on you. So I roll 1 die. In front you get 5. 1. So you have to discard your... Well, move it. Just turn it sideways. And I get 3 victory points for so hitting... So I get 5 movement. Though. All right, so... Next turn. One, two, three. Thanks a lot, right. Dad. You're welcome. And then, uh, so, now we do our search here. I get six search. I get three. One, two, three. Hey, I got socks. <laughs> uh, good for you. Oh. Hey, I got Ram card. All right, I got... This is a Samway trailer. Frozen min minnows? I need movement. Just call me the bait man. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm actually gonna. <laughs> I'm actually gonna. Can I? Can I switch these out? I'll, I'll, we'll switch these out at, at will. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this. Put this in the cargo here and put this here because this has zero fame that had fame on it. I'm gonna change. So that that value doesn't change at all. Here, I'm oh. gonna get rid of this. No, no, for what? Is that the one that was damaged? Yeah. All right. Well, let me get the it's one. Rid anyway. of the one. That, yeah. Um. 
let me go ahead and do that with mine too. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually store that one as well. I'm I just got seven movement. Put that in my cargo. I'm not getting nothing. And the garden gnome. I'm also going to. St well, you know what? Store these. No, I'm just going to. I'm, I'm going to store that one as well. I'm going to put that in my cargo. One has the highest fame. Some of these are really bad. Like, I, I could have used the movement in the search, but um, I didn't get them, unfortunately. I got all attack cards. Okay, so we're on round four, right? All right, you, what are you doing? Is that all your cargo? Well, can you put them in a, a nice pile? What are you doing? Can I discard these? No, no, you keep them till the end of the game. Because uh -huh. you've got do? you've got fame on those, right? Any cards with fame on them will, will, will contribute to your score at the end of the oh. game. So keep your cards. <laughs> all right, so... um a lot right now. Uh, did I adjust this at all? Wait, oh, isn't it? My search should be f four. So I'm back down to four. Four plus three. And my attack is uh, four, six, seven. So I'm on seven. Movement I'm is eight. I'm a ninja. Eight. Okay, I'm good. Hey, Dad, I'm a ninja. Good for you. I have a ninja. All right, so we're on round four. Um, I'm going to move, uh, again, uh, Nine spaces, eight plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I move. Uh, thirty-six to forty-six. Yes, that's forty-eight. Forty-six. All right, so forty-six, and then uh, you get to move now. I get to move seven. All right, so you get five points. Uh, thirty-six. And then uh, that, that's it. Okay, so now we have the attack phase. Um, I go okay. first because I have the first player marker. It's minus two. Well, yeah, it's two spaces. Seven. Mm -hmm. So I have an attack of seven He's plus four is 11. Minus two is nine. So that's one hit because nine divided by five is one. Roll the dice. So I get to roll three. So go ahead and uh, take, well, you take, oh, my put it, turn it sideways. It's my ninja suit. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, I also get three points for hitting you. So we're at four. I'm at 49. Okay, so now you um, hit. You're getting a super pack bag now. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So I have 14 attack. Okay, 14 attack. Go ahead and hit me. Uh, roll, roll a die. I have 8 plus 6. Okay. Eight plus 6. Okay, 14. Roll the die. You got it. 2. 16. Minus 2 equals 14. Uh, so that's 2 hits. Yes. So you have to roll 2 dice. Yeah. I'll move you up 6 points on the track. 36 plus 6 is 42. 1 and 2. Which, I have no cards there, so that doesn't really affect me. Now we All right, junk. so now we search for junk. Um, I can take three, up to three. All right, I got Holy! This. Wow, that's good. That's, I, I'm going to replace that. Jeez! I'm going to go ahead and replace the gas. Look at this guy. He has five attack. Okay. Jeez. Settle down. I'm, I am training him out. Okay. Here. All right. Um, this, this one is... Crappy. I'm gonna put that one there. Wait, does this get this card if you switch it out? You know, it no, if you it? switch it out, then um, it's garbage anyway. Cause it's damaged. Yeah, if you well, it was damaged. Okay. Um, this one, Ooh, I think we'll soap. I guess we'll put that there. Oh, school bus. That adds one to my movement. And I'll put these in my pile here. That's All right. what I have. I just gained. Let's see, 2 plus 2 equals 4, so 4 plus 4 equals 8 movement. Okay, <laughs> I'm trusting that you're keeping track, because I'm not. Alright, so we're on round 5. And I have 14, it would be 16. I have 16 attack now. <sighs> Good thing I didn't start with the other guy, I had 10 attack for starting. Uh-huh, go ahead, your turn. Okay, okay movement. I, yeah, so go ahead and move your... eight movement. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. All right, so you get five points on here. 42 plus five is 47. I'm just getting the... the All right, points. I'm moving um, nine plus one is ten. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I ten. twice, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I, I get ten... 46 to 56. All right, well, here, I got it. 56. All right, so that's now done. Attack now the attack phase. One, two. Two spaces difference. So go ahead and roll that one. That doesn't done. really matter since I have fourteen. Three seventeen. So that's three hits. Yes. So go ahead and roll three <laughs> dice. You get 
uh, be a fine 47 note. plus 9 is uh, 56, yes? So, you're up. 4, 4, and 5. 4, 5, 6. Alright, well, I lose the wooden bat then. Bye bye. No, you. Sideways. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, oh, I have 3 attack. I forgot I switched that out. 3, 2, 2, it's uh, 7, 8, so I should be on 8. But yeah, I'm going to lose that anyway. Okay, um, so I get to attack you back. I, I roll one die. Eight. So you got eight minus two. Six plus eight is fourteen. Minus, minus two is 12. twelve. So that's two hits. So I'm gonna roll two die. All right, one and uh, I was sort of on one and one. Okay, so motorhome. So you lose that one. Which is actually a pretty good movement. All right, so darn you. That, okay, I get two hits on. So I get. Uh, Six points, so 56 plus 6 is 62. Okay. okay. Now we search. Now we search again. I get three. And we start our last round. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna friends. slurpy cup. Why rubber chicken? Why? Uh, well, I have to get rid of my bat anyway, so I might as well just do that, and then I'll go down by three. One, two, three. Oh my god. Alright, so. Well, let me figure out. Oh, wow, know. this one. Where be, is that from? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Wow, that's great. I'm placing the brick. I don't want to risk that being lost, though. So I'm going to put the giant magnet in cargo. And snow plow there. Uh, and I, I guess I could be moving some of these cards over here, but with his attack strength, he's going to keep knocking out all of my cards. And I'm, I'm trying to safeguard them. Um, I think we'll... Oh, snow blower. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, I, I'm. Um, do you see what this thing says? I think I'll, do, I'll I'll go ahead and do that as well. GFP plus P equals how I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do. Well, do I really need this one extra movement? I'm, I'm on nine, right now, and that would give me eleven. If I were to move, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Huh. That would actually give me extra five points. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Slurpee cup here. Even though I might lose it, but Dark okay. Up. What does it do? All right, so I've got that gives me an extra movement. So I got one, two, I meant nine. Or right, wait, what happened? How did I get? Oh wait, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and then attack. I've got two, three, three, six, eight, nine. Some to nine. Okay. All right, so last round, right? Round yeah, six. I will go ahead and move first. Uh, I have a, a move of 12, actually, um, oh, because I've got please. 7, 9, 10, 11 here. And my character ability gives me plus 1, so 12. I get 12 move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so I get 15, yeah, 15 points. 16, 62 plus 15 is uh, 77, so that puts me down here. And you get to move now. Bless you. You move out to the seven. red ring? Yeah, I have seven now. Alright. One, two. I have seven. So one so I was one, two. Five, six, seven. Six. So you didn't complete a, a revolution or anything or an yeah, order. That's get fine. Now you've got attack phase here. Now two. I get to go first. One, two, three. Yeah, three spaces in between. Minus nine. All right, Maybe so six. I have I have nine here. So you have six plus whatever. Six plus four is ten. Two hits. So, two. so we roll two. All right, so your two is damaged. That's my school bus, which is going to be last round anyway. That's fine. All right, uh, and then you do the same to me. You've got... Um, I have 17 attack. All right, roll one die. See what we get. <laughs> That's 14 plus something. Two is 16. Okay, so 16, three hits, so roll three dice. No, I 17 plus 16. So I get the 15 points. Give me 15 points. That's, no, it's, no, it's nine points. You get three points for each. Nine... 56 plus 9 is 65. Or 1, 2, and 6. Or 4. 1, 2, and 4. Wow, I, there goes all of these. <laughs> Luckily, they're all low fame, so I'm not really worried about it. Okay. Um, and then, finally, our search. I get 7 cards. Alright. Jeez! Well, I'm just gonna... I mean, I don't think it matters. I just, I'll just put them into my cargo. And then I'll I'm I'll add them at the end. Cargo, These right? go away. 
do I have a, can I just replace all my cards? Well, yeah, just, well, it doesn't matter at this point, because we're, after this, we're just going to compare our scores. And to do that, we have to look at our... There, have this. Are those are all, that's your damaged one, the school bus? Yeah. It had four fame on it, too. That's a really good card. That would have made a great fuselage card there. Two, two, one, four. All right. Um, so, I need to now look at all of the fame on our cards. And I don't know if we're supposed to take any consideration. Stop animal. Uh, place the highest fame total is the winner. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got four, six, seven, is ninety-one. Fourteen. Very plus distracting. Nineteen. <laughs> Twenty. Are those all your cargos? <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-six. Twenty-nine. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> Thirty-one. Oh my 35. god. Thirty-five. I didn't realize you had that many cards. Thirty. <laughs> um. 30. Eight. Yeah, thirty-eight. 41, 44, <laughs> 42, 46, 46, 49, <laughs> 51, 51, 54, 55, 55, are you done yet? <laughs> Almost. Zero. 57, 57 freaking points. All of that. Plus three. 60. <laughs> 65 plus 57 puts you. 120 something. Yeah, I'm not going to bother adding that up. So I, you did a very good job. I was hoping that my race around here would <laughs> put me ahead far enough from you. <laughs> but I think your, your constant attacks and your succeeds in attacking me. Um, helped you keep up with me throughout throughout the game, and I didn't get too far ahead. And then, I got and, then and then your cargo card, like my search value sucked. It was four the entire game, so um, I could only upgrade. draw. <laughs> well, well, there you go. So there you have it. Um, our first game. Again, we may have made some mistakes, but overall, not too I'm bad. One hundred twenty-five. Oh, good for you. Space Junk, if you guys uh, want to see more gameplay, let us know. I don't know if there's going to be a review coming or not. Um, I'm quite busy at the moment. And, you know, I need to play the game a little bit more. I have half the deck. I know you have half the deck. But, um, yeah, I don't know when a review is going to be coming. I've got some previews, Kickstarter previews that I need to get uh, cracking on. So this is going to take a back seat for the moment. But at least you'll enjoy this video, or hopefully enjoy this video in the meantime. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vincent Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.